Well, hello there, Chi Pro followers. I'm excited to talk to you this month about the forecast for March 2021 because there's a lot going on and there's things you need to know. So let's dive in. So I asked a question on my website, um, is March madness upon us? And I'm going to sort of say, yes, it is. But it will depend on your definition of madness, all right? So if you've been invited to tea with Alice in Wonderland, um, what your expectations are for this month? So yes, of course, I jest because it's me. So let's just keep going. So let's have a look at what the month is first. So on March 5th, what began is the month of Shen Mao. Shen is yin metal, Mao is the rabbit. So you're always going to hear me talk about an element and an animal because they're just markers of time. Okay, so if you're new to my podcast, if you're new to my videos here, don't worry about it. They're just markers of time. You might say it's March month. We say it's Shin Mao month. It's the same thing. So let's have a look. Now, as I started writing this, I mean, I haven't been out much. It's been the pandemic, let's be honest here. So I got a little bit creative because it's my style. And I kind of imagined a bit of a Cheshire cat grinning through the whole month here. There's a reason for that. And I'm going to explain. I haven't lost my way. I haven't fallen down a tree well. And I haven't succumbed to shouts of off with her head. It's OK. I have a reason for saying what I'm saying. So I'm all good. I'm all good. I just need to uh, talk to people more. So what I want to talk about is the vaccine as the vaccines roll out, which they're doing globally. We know this, right? And governments march troops to contain the mobs vying for attention, vying for their rights. It all seems a tad surreal, doesn't it? It all seems like something out of a, a, a movie somewhere that's not really our life, but it is our life. This is where we are right now. <clears throat> Now, I don't believe Lewis Carroll had such thoughts when he wrote Alice in Wonderland, but um, that's where we are. His narrative is very cool. Now, what I decided to jump on board with, though, is because I felt that we all need a boost and we all need a little bit of fantasy every now and then. And uh, why not follow that thought this month? But let's delve into what the month actually is. Now, the fact is this month will be confusing. So the March month we think of spring, we think of daffodils, we think of Easter chocolates, we think of all those things and that they're all great. And we think of rebirth and anew. And there's a part of that that's there for sure. But it's not a smooth flow right now. The whole year is still not a smooth flow. And I actually just recorded the whole year podcast, which if you haven't heard, you better go look for that and listen to that one. There's a chaotic feel under the surface right now. And it looks good on the surface. It really does but everyone underneath is kind of not falling apart, but we're a little bit unstable and we need a boost. So I'm gonna kind of give you that boost, okay? I'm trying to give you something to look forward to and find your way through the month in a positive way. So let's have a look. So yeah, we've got a confusing month and I will tell you that you're probably gonna have more answers than questions this month. Uh, some of this won't be sorted till April, actually till May. So. We've got to push through a March month. So get out there and enjoy the spring sunshine. That will really help. Now, our little rabbit of March, remember I said Mao, Mao is the rabbit. Our little rabbit of March is an active soul. Uh, he's going to jump everywhere, here, there, and everywhere, actually. And he's holding a delicate metal saber. Remember I said Shin Mao, Shin Mao is the in metal rabbit. So one is on top and one is below. That's stems, branches, all sorts of technical terms. You don't need to worry about it. But this little, um, rabbit holding this metal saber is actually a bit like a um, Edward Scissorhands and the Energizer Bunny on steroids. No real thought and purpose. It's just kind of going out there doing a bunch of stuff. And we're going to see that this month. So can we liken this to the confusion, um, the turmoil of vaccine deliveries kind of going every which way, except for the way we planned them to go? Yes, we can. Good listening, good thought process there. You see, our rabbit of this month just doesn't have what it takes to fulfill the duty that's before it, I'm afraid. So we're just not quite there. We're not quite ready. And we may need something stronger in our teacups um, to get through this month. I do. I'm going to put my hand up right now. I do. Now, mobility is the name of the game, as the rabbit will not be pinned down. Remember, it's hopping around, doing all its thing. Facts will evade discovery. A little bit of subterfuge there. And clever wording will confuse and yet caress at the same time. Now, if we liken this to what's going on in our world, it's pretty easy, actually. 
if you think about it, right? I mean, we're being, we're watching newscasts, we're following directives, and I do applaud them. I am someone that believes in uh, following the rules during the pandemic. We will get through it. It will, we will overcome it. But it is tricky, right? We're being told so much and we're watching and the, the words clever, we follow and we're being led a bit of a merry tale, which is why my Alice in Wonderland theme came forward this month. So I've got to ask you to be logical. I've got to ask you, want to ask you to really use your intelligence and use your head and make decisions for yourself. I'm not saying buck the system, absolutely not. I'm saying think about what you're seeing, what you're hearing, what you're reading and put the facts into layers, please. It's very important because the people telling you things, they may not be telling you everything. So it's kind of all in those words. It's in those that pizzazz of what the person's saying. And there's a bit of a clever sleight of hand, a bit of that, you know, the, how the Cheshire cat kind of disappears in Alice in Wonderland. He kind of magically comes in and he fades away. It's a bit like that. Um, what was I saying? Exactly. It's exactly that. Your train of thought will go, things will go because it's that Cheshire cat kind of grinning and then floating off and you're thinking, what? Squirrel, butterfly. Yeah, a bit of that this month. So you need to try to find comfortable, a comfortable spot wherever you can. So you kind of need to look out for yourself here. Find that comfortable spot and maybe top up something in your teacup to get through it. That's what I would do. I do expect some delectable naughtiness um, with our rambunctious rabbit in the mix this month. So maybe some sexy scandals, but I shouldn't actually make light of that because it's not, I'm saying it like it's something funny and it, it's not, I have a feeling there's something gonna come up that's not so great. Some more information about some of the sex issues, the scandals that we've already got afoot or some more ones coming up. Um, possibly a powerful figure or two and they'll have their hands caught in fluffy handcuffs and it will be entertaining to watch them schmooze their way out of it. But really, it's not actually funny. I'm trying to make light of it. But we do have to be aware that I'm probably going to see something pop up. And um, yeah, they need to be caught. It needs to be settled. So I'm actually OK with that. Now, I want to look into some feng shui for the month. You know, I always like to give you um, areas that you can use more and areas that you should avoid. So I like, you know, there's eight areas in your home, eight compass directions, because feng shui is all about how the environment affects you. So it's all spatially affected. And we just deal with same compass locations, north, south, same as you already know. And we can look at what's coming in there. It's kind of like Wi-Fi. So there's two good Wi-Fi spots this month, two not so good. So the first one is the west. Love, 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 love this one, because it's big for the year as well. So the West this month has great um, wealth there. So, and um, recognition, I should say, it's got great, uh, the ability to be seen for what you're doing and it ties in with wealth. So I love it. The, the West in 2021 is a great area, but in this month of March, it's also a good area for reputation. If you get a good reputation, you might get a raise, you might get a new job. So it's really good, right? So use the West area of your home. What this means is, say you need to apply for a job or you're getting your resume together, you're making phone calls, you're doing anything to do with boosting your career, your presence, use the West area of your home. Let's say the West area of your home is your kitchen counter. You go sit there with your laptop and you do some work. Let's say the West area of your home is your um, pantry, if you've got one, right? Or the closet where you keep the canned goods, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, yeah, a little bit odd to go work there with your laptop, I admit. But maybe you've got a couple of important phone calls. So go there and make them there. Why? Because I said so. Joking aside, because it's a good place to do that. It's a good place to do that this month. So when I give you areas to use, it just means use them as best you can. It also means don't store the garbage there. Don't keep it in disarray tidy up that area. So even if you're not making phone calls, you're not working on a laptop, maybe you don't even have a job at all and things aren't that great. Well, then just tidy up the West area of your home. And I'm telling you, opportunities will come to you. So do it. Second area that I like for March 
is the north. Okay, this is a great area for real estate and developing and developments um, and fast forward thinking. So if you've got the north is your front door, uh, one of my businesses, it's they're facing, it's the front of their business, and they're looking to move and do a few things. It's perfect for them this month to actually sort that, to nail it, to get it done. So I'm really excited for them. I'm pretty sure they're going to sign the deal. Um, it may take some long meetings, you know, for everyone else that's using the north area of your home to get your goal achieved, but it's worth it. So use the north area to make phone calls, work, maybe prepping documents, maybe making notes, maybe making plans, but whatever it is you want to do, just go to that north area, okay? Now I'm going to balance this out. I know there's eight areas, but I just give you two good, two not so good, and we'll expand on more later in the year with a new product I'm coming out with. But an area to avoid this month, if you can, is the southeast part of your home. So again, just work out your compass directions in your home. Where's the southeast? Look at the southeast. Well, the reason it's not so great is there could be issues with contracts, with taxes. You owe money more than you thought. So keep this area super tidy, clean. Don't use it a lot. Now, if it's your kitchen, you have to go in the kitchen. I know that. Go ahead and go in the kitchen. What I'm saying is if you have a choice, if it's a room that you, um, you know, I like put it this way, um, part of my office is the Southeast. So I'm very aware when I'm doing certain things, I don't actually do it in the Southeast part of my office. Yes, I understand you may be thinking, that sounds crazy. Uh, I didn't get to where I'm at by doing crazy things. So hear me now, believe me later, try to avoid the Southeast if you can, uh, and be aware that if you do use it, that you may have some contractual or tax issues to deal with. So deal with them. It's not the end of the world. The other one, um, oh, and I would, I would not have important discussions in the Southeast at all. Ixnay on the heart discussion or the money discussion or in the Southeast, uh, go to the West, okay? Top, tap into that West direction, great. So the other area that I'm not keen on is the East. It's a tough area for the whole year, I've got to admit. So I'm hoping your front door is not in the east. I'm hoping that your main office isn't in the east, but it might be. So it just means you have to work a little bit harder to make things happen. So it's not great because it's a bit of an argument and a complaint area. Now, I'm going to flip that for a second because I'm a big believer that you always work with what's at hand. OK, you can't avoid if it's raining out there, I can't avoid that it's raining. It's raining. If I go out, I'm going to get wet, right? So what I'm referencing here is the east area of your home. Yeah, it's got arguing. It's got complaints. It's got these things. But you know what? If you're a lawyer, that's okay. What do you do? You deal with litigation. You possibly argue for things for your client. So it's not all bad. But again, if you're going to have that heart-to-heart -heart discussion about with your loved one about the fact they do not load the dishwasher... If you choose to do it in the East this month, you're going to end up in an all out fight. And is that really what you want to do? No. Okay. The answer is no. Moving on. Now, well, what I should say is keep in mind when I give you these areas, it's for awareness. You have to live your life. You have to use your house. You cannot move your main corporate head office. There's so many things you can't do. There's so many things you can do. So use the areas the best of your ability. Now, Let's move into horoscopes because I know that's always the fun one. So what I like to do each month, if you're new to me, if you haven't listened to my podcast before and not on my newsletter, um, A, duh, why aren't you? But anyway, you're here now watching the video, so you're good. So I highlight animals each month that have an interaction with that month. So this is how I advise my corporate clients when to do things. It's because of the interactions of the months. So there's 12 Chinese animals, but usually I'm highlighting three to five, depending on what's going on. So I've got a few for you today. So you check out your Bartzer chart, which is your Chinese astrology chart. If you have it, great. If you don't, pop to chiprosam.com, click on the calculators, get your chart. Anyway, if you have a rooster in your birth chart, well, truth be told, you're going to face some issues this month. Uh, probably a roadblock or two, and heck, it's going to throw in a, ref a refusal of some kind while we're at it. I know it doesn't sound fun. That's not what you want to hear from me. I get it. But guess what? You can overcome this. You will overcome this by understanding that you may have to pivot and change direction on something you had planned. See, wasn't that bad, was it? So if you've got a rooster, 
your plans are probably going to change. So be ready to change them. Not a big deal. See, we can get through this. All right, if you've got a dragon in your chart, uh, <laughs> not a fan of this interaction because I have a dragon in my chart and it's an active one. Um, I know this one only do well. Emotionally, it's going to be a bit of a low blow. Uh, definitely an up and down month and we have to ride this one out. Okay, we have to ride the dragon. There's no shortcuts, I'm afraid. The work has to be done. Whatever you're dealing with has to be dealt with. Um, I know that personally myself and it's tough. Okay, it's going to wear you down and you're going to question yourself. Please don't question yourself. Just push through this. Um, there's greatness for the dragon in 2021, but this month is a bit of a bit of a tough one. But the dragon will have to overcome and the dragon can overcome. The dragon can. So you've got no point, no choice but to follow through. So follow through all the way. Commit. Commit. Now, if you have a rat in your birth chart, it's a rather... It's no fun dealing with something called the self penalty. And that's what the rat's dealing with uh, this month. So this one is interesting to me. And, and again, I actually don't worry about this one, but it depends. I need to give you two stages. So what's happening between the rat and the rabbit? If you have a, if you have a, a rat in your chart and it's rabbit month, which it is this March, you're going to deal, you're going to have a feeling of you want to just go, um, okay, done, right? It's okay. You can be, effing done if you want to be. All I ask you to do is really think about, are you sure you want to be done with this situation that's on your mind? If you are, get it off your desk, get it done, close the door, slam the door. I don't mind, do whatever you want. Just be sure because when you slam that door, you're slamming a door. If you're hesitant, if, you, if you're not sure if you wanna do that, then you should be cautious and get some counsel first. But if you've done all your homework up to this point and you're now thinking, that's it, I've tried, I can't do it anymore, then you throw the towel in and you walk away because it's actually holding you back. The situation you're dealing with is holding you back, right? So you've got to, you've got to kind of clean the slate. Now, if you have a horse in your birth chart, I too, um, it's kind of all about setting some new habits. And again, I can relate to this. And this is what I love sometimes. I like to share what's going on with me because I think it helps you because I don't know your, I don't know your charts. I can't actually pinpoint you exactly. But what I can tell you is I know I've raised up my discipline level because I um, have a heck of a lot to do. And I realized I was floating through it um, with becoming overwhelmed with what was going on. It was just too much. How am I ever going to get it done? Well, a defeatist attitude the no good, no purpose in my life. So I already turned that around, but I had to change some morning habits. I had a great morning habit I'd already initiated, but I've actually had to take it up a notch and add in some of my martial art training in the morning as well as in the afternoon. Why? Because I need to get shit done this year. And the only way I'm going to do that is by being disciplined. So if you have a horse in your birth chart, you are dealing with this as well. So look at your routine. Now, for me, it was martial arts, it's exercise. I needed to set that structure. Yours could be that you're drinking too much coffee. It could be that you're watching Netflix. It could be any number of things and you will know what it is. So you don't need to ask me. You know what it is that you need to switch. So switch it, all right? It's not rocket science, people, just switch it. Uh, another animal we're gonna talk about for March is the dog. Definitely a year of growth. Uh, it's actually a very good year for the dog in many, many, many ways. And this month, um, you take it up a notch. Actually, I'm very excited because I have a family member who has a dog in his chart. So it's all about following through on those leads, following through on the phone calls, committing to the partnership, committing to the collaboration, like literally getting it done, like following your gut. Do not worry if you don't think you have everything in, in position correctly. I'm sure you do. You just are overthinking it. And just jump in and, and say, yes, I'll do that. Yes, I'll do that. I'll, I'll partner with you. I'll collaborate with you. And even if you don't quite know how you're going to do that, don't worry about it. You'll figure it out. It's, it's actually a similarity with someone if you've got a rat in your chart um, too. So you will, you will get it done, right? So just get it done. So keep in mind what I share with you here each month when I do these really short little uh, monthly talks on my podcast and now here on YouTube is I want you to understand that if you're aware that that is what you're dealing with, you can handle it very differently. I have learned through my own 
learning and watching my clients, but especially learning the hard way. See, my chart is a bit of a school of hard knocks chart. So I have to learn things the hard way. You can't tell me anything. I have to experience the pain for myself, apparently, over and over. Um, is that now when I look and I know those things are coming, I sort of think, ah, okay, much better putting my hand up for help, much better at recognizing. And that's what I want for you. I want you each month, and I will get these out at the beginning of the solar month. I want you to know that you will handle whatever the month is bringing. You cannot stay in bed. You cannot hide in your closet. You can't not make decisions just because, oh my God, Sam said it's a bad month for me. A, and I, I rarely would I say that. It has to be something quite extreme. I'm trying to give you um, options on how to interact with the month to get what you want. These animals I've listed, there's a lot going for them once they know how to work with the month. So I have a birth chart, could be quite a lot like yours. You could have been listening to this and you're thinking, oh, I've got a horse too. Oh, I've got this, I've got that. Okay, you know what? None of our, chart, none of our birth charts are angelic and uh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the fact that my chart is a little bit of a challenge sometimes because out of adversity comes great expansion. So the whole Big Bang Theory, right? How did that happen? A lot of pressure was applied and something amazing happened. So know that you can do that this month as well. Um, now let's not forget that March is also wonderful things, right? March is the daffodils, the spring. Yes, it could be slightly different seasons wherever you are, I'm aware of that. But it is a time of rebirth. You know, the animals are birthing, all sorts of things are happening. So we do have that. Use that, dig, you know, grab on to that feeling and know that you can step forward. Yes, I've said the month is a bit messy, but that's the world. Your life, you can make positives out of it and have a good month. Spring never fails to put a spring in my step. I, I, I love it. The minute I can get out there and I'm enjoying the warm weather and I can, you know, hike and do all these things, I'm just in heaven and I'm sure you are too. Um, now, you know, I don't sugarcoat things. I kind of let it rip, mistakes and all. I don't get everything right and I'm well aware of that. It's almost impossible to. There's a lot to consider each month, each year. But I feel it's best to speak um, openly and give you an advantage to level the energetic playing field. Because whether you... Quite frankly, whether you believe in me or not, whether you believe in metaphysics and the world that I work in or the, the industry I work in, which is very successful, by the way, uh, there's a lot of people working there. You, you can't negate the fact that there's something you can't touch, uh, that there's something out there that cannot be seen. That's what I'm talking about. That's the energetic playing field. And once you can level it or understand it, understand what it is, you work with it. Once you work with it, you can turn it to your advantage. It's not a control freakish thing. It's an understanding thing. Um, now, I do have a but, and I, I dread the, the word but, but it does beckon new growth and emerging ideas and brightness and where there was darkness. So my but here is a good one. Actually, that's a really funny sentence now, I say it out loud, but anyway, it's a very positive because this is, a, you know, we, we can change this. We can actually move forward now. And I'm excited for us. We're all going to move forward. So if there's one thing we can all agree on. It's that the March month, that flowers are blossoming, animals are birthing, they're little young, and we've got a chance at new life, right? We are not out of the pandemic yet. We have a ways to go in many ways, but we are getting there. So know that this March month, you can make great bounds. You can be that rabbit and you can hop around and you can advance. So do exactly that. All right. Now I know you got this. Uh, I love watching you go. So go for it, guys.